Life is a black man Tell me what's harder than that I ain't speaking bars, I'm speaking on facts Just cause I'm black, don't know I react Think about Pac, yeah, I think about Malcolm Messed up cause they had the same outcome Made it this far, yeah, we did it without them Imagine if they never did stop them Uh, huh, huh, huh. slave on the track Reparations, yeah, I need that And if I can't get it, you know what Might as well just bling back Wall Street back I'm thinking about Malcolm, messed up cause they had the same outcome. Made it this far, yeah, we did it without them. Imagine if they never did stop them. Stop them. All right, all right, all right, all right. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, man. It's your boy Beano, man. And you know this is G and G Podcast. That's gangster. And gentlemen podcast. Yeah, I mean, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you haven't already, I need you to go. Down there, hit that button so you can subscribe. Yeah, I mean, you can hit us on all the platforms, man. We're on all the social medias. We're everywhere so you can just tap in. Yeah, I mean, and you know how we do it on the show today, man. We got the 38 Russian roulette, man, with all my topics on it, man. We're going to get our spin wheel popping today and see what we're going to do for today. Okay, 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 okay. I like this. I like this, man. This is a good topic, man. We're going to shine some light on local businesses, man, entrepreneurs, everybody out here just, you know, trying to make a difference, you know, just trying to do big things out here for the community and for themselves and for their family. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I'm going to time in on, um, I, I, I see this guy, man. I'm about to mention this guy. His name is Joe. Yeah, I mean, I know him for a little bit. And, you know, he's doing big things out here right now, man. He started up a nice little clothing line business. You feel what I'm saying? And I, I'm seeing everything, man. The man got everything, man. He got hoodies, shirts, socks, buttons, pillows. Yeah, I mean, the man is really working, man. So, yeah, I mean, I got him on the phone today. He's going to tap in with a G&G podcast. You feel what I'm saying? I got Joe on the line. Joe, introduce yourself, man. Let them know where you're coming from, what you got going on. It's The floor is on you, buddy. What's going on, man? What's up, man? It's your boy Joe Banger, you know. Um, well, it's the clothing business called 1990-something, and, you know, it's just something for the culture, something for the people. Um, I was born in, well, born in, born in the 80s, raised in the 90s, you know. That's my era, so. Okay. That's I had up. to bounce it off that, and, you know, if it's, First started off a mixtape, now with the clothes, and it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every day, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I just got, you know what I mean? I got a few little questions, you know what I mean? Like, what, what inspired you to, like, you know what I mean, jump into, like, the fashion? Well, since high school and since, since kids, we always, you know what I'm saying, had the latest Jordans. It's always, always was into fashion, you know what I'm saying? As far as me, I was always into fashion. As far as me and my, my people, I used to chill. It was always into fashion, so that was... That was the easy part, but just as far as doing the closing and everything, to be honest, I ain't never thought I'd be in this field. It just started as a mixtape, and then it just okay me wanting to put out merch for my mixtape, and then it just be people love the merch so much that I just had to start coming up with different ideas and different concepts for it. So it just it kind of it, it just you. got it, it it just got bigger than me, bro. I, I can't even I can't even tell you. This is, it That's happened organically, up. though. That's what's up. That's what's up. So basically, you just you just transferred the music into the fashion and then ran with it. Correct. I just seen it. I'm just. I don't know. I just seen it shining the light on on the, on the fashion tip more, and, and people like what I was dishing out as far as for the the merch that was more towards aiming towards people to get get to my music, but okay. that was just merch, man. I could dig it. I could dig it. And in that 1990 something, that's just, that's stamped hard, man. Like, what was the like? That because that's what you grew up in, and that's what means the most to you. Like that nineteen ninety, like that. Why'd you pick that actual it, year? Because everything in the nineties was great, man. As far as the people, the times, you know, what I'm saying it was a time Good where vibes. you had fun. It was just the music was everything. The vibes, just just the whole nineties era was just a golden era. It was just I, I can't explain it, man. You had to beat it. A, Yeah, to go through. I know. I got. I mean, I remember the '90s, man. I mean, I had. It used to be fresh. I remember the days. You feel me? And um, as far as far as like you know, starting off the business and stuff like that. Like, what are what are some of the things that you, uh, like people probably told you? Oh, it'll be hard to do this, but like you're you're doing it, so like you're progressing. So like, what are some of the things that 
Yeah, you know I mean that people try to discourage you to do, but you're seeing that it's really not that hard if you put your mind to it. Well, nine as far as nobody really discouraged me to do anything. If anybody, if anything, anybody kept trying to push me to okay, try to do better up. or try Support to do to more. Major you key. get what I'm saying? Support to major Don't get me key. wrong. You got you got your haters mm-hmm. everywhere. I'm saying so. It's it's always going to be the hate. Yeah. But the love is overpowering the hate so far. So I, I can't really say anything about discouraging. It's more like people pushing me to do better and people actually, when they see me slacking on certain things, they'll actually push me, you know what I'm saying? Because they know I have that drive and that passion. So, that's what's you know. up. That's what's up. Um, I, I seen I seen you. You I mean you did you did it major, man? I seen I seen a little Billy board or something out here, man. I, I see you doing it big, man. That that was a big thing, man. I'm pretty sure you're getting a lot of love from that, man. Where, where was that located? Uh, it's located at the corner um, of Albany Ave and, and Homestead at the intersection. Okay. Yeah, man. I just felt like I just wanted to do something different for the city. Give give, give the city a basically just set the tone, like. Okay. People, I'm saying Harf- Hartford in general gets overshined by other states around us. Connecticut, period. So it's just like, I just want to shine a state. I just want to shine the light on, on, on Hartford, where I'm from. Because it's a lot of talent and it's a lot of diversity. It's a, it's a, lot, of, it's a lot going on that, that, that people have yet to discover here that, that they need to discover. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I, I dig that, man. Like, I, I really dig that. Okay, what, what do you wear besides 1990? I can't even tell you at this point. Um, that's, that's that's just probably about it. You might catch me in a white tee. Uh, yeah, hey, listen, man. I was trying to catch <laughs> you, you can, slipping, bro. I was trying to catch yeah, you, you can, slipping, man. I was trying to catch you, you slipping. You might catch me in some. You might catch me in some sports wear, comfortable wear, since I'm running around. So I mean, maybe some Nike. That's okay. A, probably about it. I don't really. All right. <laughs> that's what's up, yeah. man. That's what's up. That's what's up. And another thing, um, like, okay, um. What what would you say? What would you say is uh, I mean, like as far as your is as far as your marketing, like is that really important? Like, what do you say is like the main thing as far as fashion? Like, you need to focus on when you're starting up, like for somebody that's trying to get into the business or you know what I mean, jump on the wave. You dig what I'm saying? Like, what 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 should be like your main focus first? Your main focus, um, your main focus should be to get your the name of your brand and where you, where you want to go with it. Like you get what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. can't start designing until you find the concept of where you're trying to go and what lane you're trying to go in. And you have to make sure that's all in order before you even start developing concepts to start putting out merch and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what's up. Cause I mean, everybody talking about, they trying to do something, but I'm trying to tell them, man, it's not an easy game, man. It's not an easy game. Oh, it's t- it's definitely not, man. It's a lot of headaches. It's, it's, it's with anything, man. It's, it's with any type of hustle. You won't have your, your losses. You won't have your ups, your downs. Um, you won't have your love, your hate. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it, it goes hand in hand with anything you're doing as far as with dealing with money and as far as dealing with business. So, Okay. That's what what's I mean? up. That's what's up. I mean, you got you got anything coming up as far as, you know I mean, people can check out your merch or you want to... Throw a plug where you where we can find you, where we can uh you know co cop some of that stuff, man. I got some stuff. They need to hop on the wave. I got some personally, <laughs> so I mean they better just you know tap into with all your socials or whatever the network you give them because they need to get in touch with you. Yeah, so basically you guys could reach out to me on Instagram nineteen ninety underscore something without the G. Okay, um that's for my Instagram directly. Um the website is going to be up and running June eleventh. That's www1990 something without the g dot com. Okay. All my merch will be available then June 11th. And, um, June 12th. June 12th. If you happen to be in the um the Hartford, Connecticut area, um, you could pull up the um 1287 Main Street Exotic Smoke Shop. Okay. All right. All right. My first, my first official pop up. You know, every um shout out the Kings um. Kane's Catering, set up the Exotic Smoke Shop for having me and laying out their platform for me to do my thing. That's what's up, man. And That's what's up. We're definitely yeah, going we, we definitely going we definitely going to put all that information in the description so people could definitely pull up on you, man. I, I mean, people really need to support local businesses, and this brother right here is doing his thing, man. I'm watching him, man. I've been watching him for a while, and yeah, I mean, it, it's only getting better if, through my eyes. You feel what I'm saying? And I see what you're doing, bro, and I salute you for that. 
Nah, I appreciate that, man. Just trying to motivate and hustle, you know? Definitely, definitely, man. But I appreciate you taking out the time, man. And, yeah, you know I mean, for this outro right now, man, you can, you know, say whatever you got to say, promote whatever you got to promote, man. And, you know, the floor is yours. And, you know what I mean, G&G Podcast, appreciate you, you know what I mean, tapping in with us, man. Yeah, man. So, first and foremost, I'd like to give a shout-out to G&G Podcast for having me and allowing me to um promote respect. my platform on their platform. Respect. So, that's that's... You know what I'm saying? It's all respect and love, man. I knew you forever, brother. He's a good dude. Thank you for his love for supporting as well. Um, y'all can tap into the website June eleventh, ww dot nineteen dot com without the G. Yeah. Um y'all can tap into the IG once again, nineteen ninety underscore something without the G. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. We're going up from here, man. That's what it is. Oh, matter man. of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, y'all can also if you're in the Hartford, Connecticut area, you can stop by the corner of Albany Ave and Homestead and check out the billboard as well, man. Show love. Definitely check out that billboard, man. Hit them up, man. Tag them in the pictures with all that good stuff, man. Show the love. Show the support, man. Because like he said, man, it's only up from here, man. 1990-something, man. Get you something, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Thanks, Joe, for pulling up, man. You know how we do, bro. I, nah, appreciate, I appreciate you. you, bro. All right, man. Good looks, man. I'll yell at you. Nah, definitely, bro. All right. I'm going to do this shit the most humblest way, man. Respectfully. Respectfully. You hear me? I be tweaking, I been grinding uh-huh. Through some pointers in my diamonds Blame They don't wanna see me shining nah. See I'm hating cause I'm climbing Hatin'. 40 what you like Poseidon <laughs> For my niggas and we wildin' Yo. Don't confuse me with that poppy Never. shit Chopper like a hockey uh-huh. stick Your own man plotting on you Watch who you be rocking with Watch Smoking on that Zaza I be on my rocket shit nah. Chilling with my old head Nigga this a cold red Been sitting on some old bread Trying to get my dogs fed Sun getting bigger Got no time for the bullshit nope. Same nigga nothing new bitch Same gun New clip <laughs> man's die time spill more, golfing like I'm Gilmore, yep. trying to motivate the hood, so I got a billboard, trying to corner the market, lately I've been moving heartless, uh-huh. I'ma finish if you started, yep. I'ma get mine regardless, get whatever it. you want to call it, summertime got the hood high, can't end with the slingshots, rose let the shit pop, ain't leaving to the brick lot, my niggas move the whole thing, ain't talking about a buck or better, nigga let the phone ring, half it in my veins, from the north end to the south end, been stamped everywhere, I don't need nobody vouching, nigga. Hey, fuck you, man! Put this thing together. Me. That's who. Who do I trust? Me. What's the deal? You already know it's Beano, man. This is Gangsta and Gentleman Podcast. We're at the pop-up shop. I got my boy Joe, man. Y'all need to pull up. 1990 something, you heard? It's going to be lit. Make sure y'all check out 1990sun.com, man. Shop online now, too. You can get it online. You can pop up on get it. Come through. You already know what it is, man. 1990 something. <laughs> What's the deal, man? It's your boy, Beano, man. If you're rocking with Gangsta and Gentleman Podcast, I need you to go to Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Matter of fact, we're on all of podcast platforms. And if you're willing and dealing on your iPhone or your Android, make sure you check us out on our social medias, man. We on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You know the name, Gangsta and Gentlemen Podcast.